Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in the beautiful village of Little Missingdon in Buckinghamshire. This is where we're going to continue our walk along the River Misbourne. But first, I thought I'd just start by showing you the beautiful 13th century church of St John the Baptist. Not open today, unfortunately, but I have been inside. There's some amazing wall paintings which were only rediscovered in about 1931. And it's one of the churches where they sometimes do cream teas on a summer Sunday. So, um, you know, it is somewhere worth coming to visit. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the churchyard and we're going to go and find the River Misborn. Now, where I ended the last video, down at the end of the Missenden Abbey parkland, I said that the river becomes quite inaccessible. My next part I thought I probably would access the river would be Suffolk's Bridge, which is about half a mile down the lane that way. I've had a look. There isn't a lot to see, really. There's the bridge and there's a thick hedge, so you can hardly see the river. So I thought what we'll do, we'll re-pick up the river by going down this public footpath just here. And that's where we shall be able to find the River Misborn. Just let you have another beautiful look at the church. We'll find the River Misborn and then we'll continue following it where we can and we'll eventually end up in Amersham and carry on through the Chalfont. So come down this footpath here into this field. I can see the bypass, the same bypass we saw in part one in Great Missingdon, the one that allegedly broke a tunnel. Um, so that was the old road, the old A413, which runs from London all the way up to Buckingham. Now I can, I can get some glimpses of the river in there, but that's someone's garden. Um, so what I think must happen, the river currently is over there, and we might be able to see up here. It sort of looks like it kind of does a big meander around here, like this. So um, bear with me; I shall show it to you in a moment. That's interesting. Now I can't see any river at all. Maybe what I could see over there was a pond or a spring. So if anyone knows, there appears to be some water behind the church. If that is or isn't part of the River Misborn, oh, there goes the church bells. Please comment and let me know. Well, here we are. Here definitely is the River Misborn. And it seems to have already since Great Missingdon, it's got quite a lot bigger. Um, you know, at the beginning, it was really was just a little trickle. Now look at it, it's, you know, not a massive river, but you know, it it's, feels like it's a much bigger river. It's not just a stream, more like a real river. So it then flows through there. It looks very nice in there, but that's all private. So we won't be going in there. It flows through there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into the village and see where we can next see the River Misborn. So here we are in the centre of Little Missenden. If you go up a little lane that way, you come to Holmwell Green. You can see the sign says Wendover and Aylesbury. Of course, there will also be Great Missenden. I think the arms have broken off this one, but it would say Amersham and probably the Chalfont. So this is the old road, as I mentioned earlier. There's now a bypass just over there. Now this house here is quite interesting. This is the manor house. And if you, as somebody who watches Midsummer Murders and you think this and this whole village scene looks familiar, then that's because this has featured in Midsummer Murders over the years. I'm not entirely sure which episodes, but it definitely has been in Midsummer Murders a few times. They quite regularly used the Chilton villages for filming the fictional county of Midsummer, and Corston, the um, main, the county town of Midsummer, is either filmed, but sometimes it's Beaconsfield or Amersham, various other towns. We'll come to Amersham later on in the video. There's a really interesting sign there. Holmwell Green that way, Hyde Heath that way. So that's the village centre. I'm going to take you down this little lane here, which goes up towards the bypass. I'm not, in, this is one of these ones where I'm not entirely sure exactly how we're going to find it, but what I'm hoping is we shall find the River Misborn just up here. Because I've, it obviously, it comes in this direction. So, um, we shouldn't have to go far. It might be though, a bit like how it was in part one in Great Missingdon. It's there, but you can't see it. So I'm just going to keep looking really. And um, 
I think. Right, okay, yeah, I have found it, but it's all private land. It is literally here. There we go. Yeah. Now, the camera's probably not going to pick it out, but there is a rather large fish in there. Now, I'm not someone who knows much about fishing, and it's not like I can really show it to you for anyone who does know more to comment, but it's a pretty big fish. So, what I'm going to do now. Let's go for somewhere where we can find the river and we can see it a bit better. I'm going to carry on walking through to the other side of the village centre. So I've walked through Little Missington village centre and I have found the River Misbourne. There's this rather beautiful old mill house here and here's the river. I think there was once as many as about 11 mills along the course of the River Misbourne. And as we can see, like this one, they remain, but not in use. This one is now a house. If we go across the road, though, you can see the mill pond. So, yeah, it's a bit overgrown. And then the river flows off down there. But, uh, and again, I know I said it earlier, I couldn't show it to you. I saw a big fish. There's lots of little minnows in this mill pond. But we're now going to head off down in that direction. There's a footpath just up there where those cars are parked and we're going to go through the Shardlows estate and see what we see of the River Misbourne along there. So I'm now walking along this path from Little Missington towards Amersham. Will take us through the Shardlows estate and you can see the river just along there in the middle of the field. Along this section there would have once been watercress beds and with the coming of the railway they could have taken the watercrests up to London you know quite quickly well nearest railway station to here I suppose right now we're probably about halfway between Amersham and Great Missingham but the railway line is just up there where those trees are so yeah the river flows along here and it's already getting wider it feels like it's really got quite a lot wider here but as we should discover later on it does kind of get smaller almost because more back to being a stream again we're going to so as i said we're going to continue on up here we're going to go through the shardlows estate and um you'll see just how much wider the river is due to get now i'm walking through the beautiful humphrey repton laid out parkland of the shardlows estate there's shardlows house up there i've already done a video on this so have a look on the link on screen now you can watch that video and i'll tell you about shardlows house as for the River Misbourne, well, it really, really has grown. Look at it. It's a hugely wide lake now. It's really opened out. This is obviously man-made. They've dug it out to make it this lake. This isn't the natural river. But even this, I've seen this river, this part of the river rather, dried up. I've seen it dried up all the way through except beyond Chalfont Park. They're the only bits I've not seen it dried up. So I've never been out into there when it's dried up, but it's amazing to think that dries up. Thankfully, I haven't seen it dried up for at least 20 years and um, it's still got water in. So hopefully, you know, that won't ever happen again. But yeah, it's a really pleasant part of the River Misbourne. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna continue walking through the Shardlows estate in the direction of Amersham. And then we will continue to follow the River Misbourne from Amersham through the Chalfonts, eventually down to Denham to its source. But let's just, have one last look at the Humphrey Repton Parkland and the Shardlow's house. And before I go, just look at how vast that lake is. It really stretches on as far as the eye can see. I'm going to carry on walking now and um, go to the end of the lake and beyond. I've now just come to the end of the Shardlow's estate on the gate cottages there and um, when we see the river again it will no longer be the large lake that we were following it'll be back not down to quite the small trickle it was at little missingdon um or before little missingdon rather but it will be you know it won't be the big river it was now i haven't been this way for a while i think we need to go here literally into the hedge this is a path it just seems to have looked a bit overgrown so yeah we're going in here we're at a funny area now where the Amersham Bypass goes, well, round Amersham, obviously. So the old town is in that direction, and then the footpaths have all been a bit altered. So where we came out there, the drive to Shardlow's probably would have gone 
well, I'm not sure exactly where, but it's, it's all been changed, put it that way, for the bypass. So as for the river, well, the river is just down here. And the fact that they've had to bridge the bypass made a very useful footpath bridge as well. So here we are, look, it's um, quite a bit smaller than when we last saw it. If we go here underneath the bypass, you can see the actual size of it. So um, yeah, I agree this isn't the prettiest section of the river. I should remember though, when I was in Scouts, we came here once, and we had to build a bridge under here. So we put like a barrel in the water and it, they did it on purpose so you couldn't do it with one plank and then we managed to get two planks and we got across there so I ha have stood on the other side of there so yeah that was quite a fun game one evening uh, carrying on underneath the road the river now flows off into more bushes um well actually it flows under the road into Amersham so if you choose not to use the bypass you'll go that way into Amersham I end up up here beside the bypass so in order for me to show you more of the river I'm going to have to continue walking just along here beside the bypass into Amersham Old Town and I shall see you further along a little bit. So I have now made it to Amersham Old Town. I'm just going to let you have a quick look. Here we are down the beautiful High Street now. When we're in Little Missenden, I talked about Midsummer Murders and how Little Missenden, they sometimes film some of the villages. Well, Amersham Old Town is sometimes used for filming of Corston in the series. Now, if we come to here, we find River Misborn again. Just here and there is a beautiful old mill. This is Mill Lane. So you can see the mill. And here, the river emerges from underneath the mill and flows off down there behind these cottages. So what we'll do, let's just go and have a look. We can follow it down, it goes into a park and um, we shall keep going, following it right through. There's some really beautiful parts of the river in Old Amersham. So I'm going to go down this path here and show you a bit more of River Misborn as we go. So the footpath has brought me out into this park and I think it's a really nice section of the River Misborn. You've got the High Street over there and quite a lot of the properties have these little bridges which take them out into the park. So um, yeah, this is quite a pleasant section of the river. So I'm going to carry on following it along here and what we're going to do, we're just going to keep going. There's a bit in a minute where we cannot see the river so we'll have to then leave the river again. Well, there's a pub there, even the pub's got its own back door which you have to access the river over one of these bridges so just going to keep walking really because what happens in this corner you can see the river again disappears from public rights away so I'm going to have to go around the back of all the houses and uh, we should pick the river up again further and we'll carry on and um, see what we find but we've got the best bits of Amersham ahead of us so once I get to the other side of where the river flows under that building I shall show you what there is to see. So from the park I was in, I've just come for a little walk around the housing estate and I've come down this way here. It comes to a place called Pondswick Meadow, it says on that stone there. It says it's a community orchard and nature area. So this must be where we shall find the Misborn again. Now, you can see some of these old mill houses. I think these are possibly old maltings I could see them from where we were. So from what I'm thinking is the river should appear in that corner there. I think I pretty much know it's going to. So let's go over there and see. I know it's getting a bit windy now, um, but let's just have a little wander around. So yeah, it's very pleasant little place here, hidden away behind Old Amersham. This is known as Old Amersham. New Amersham is up where the railway station is. It's also sometimes known as Amersham on the hill. So here's the river. There's another pub there with a, a back door which you can access via a bridge. Just see the parish church over there. That's where we're going to head for next once we've been around here. I love how some people have got like a little gate and it says private and that's, you know, it's, it, that's their back entrance to their property, which I think is a really nice way of, you know, accessing your property. I'd love that to have a little bridge. Ideally for me, a property, have a bridge over river on one side and a railway on the other. That would be perfect. There's some very pleasant little houses. So the river 
flows along there and then it looks like it disappears and shall re-emerge just over there near the church so let's just go to the end here just might as well see as much of it as we can possibly see and then um see where we we end up so yeah we get to these little bridges again um three three bridges in a row not three bridges in sussex but three bridges right i'm going to carry on to somewhere over there i can see the next culvert so i'm going to go over there and show you more of the river misborn I'm now making my way back towards Amersham town centre. The Misbourne is somewhere below the road here. So the main high street is just over there. Here is the parish church. And the Misbourne is flowing in a the direction, these lime trees. So it must literally be underneath this building right here. When I say that, I know it is um, because I've been coming to Amersham all my life. So I know exactly where it goes. Um, it appears just here from outside, from underneath the building. So, there we go. Here we are, reunited with the Misborn. This was built in 1634, because I can see it on the keystone there. I've always thought it looks really nice in there, but it's all private property, so I've never been in there. So, we're now gonna follow the River Misborn past the church, and um, I'll show you as much of it as I can now, because now we can access the track bed Sorry, not track bed, mine's on railways because I so often do old railways. Access the riverbed and the river itself um, much easier now than we could back there. So we're going to keep following the river along here, leaving behind the churchyard. And the river takes us along here, taking a bend up here. And it, it flows behind Amersham, which is, to me, this is one of the most pleasant parts of the River Misborn. There is, it's all unspoilt, you know, it's just a really, really nice bit of river, I think. So you can see around there, under the bridge just up there. And then um, I'm gonna take you over the bridge. If you go up the hill, if you walk up there, it's quite a nice walk you can do, up through the woods, and eventually you come to Amersham Station. It's not far, that's actually quite a nice walk. If you came up from London on the train to Amersham, you could walk down, down to Amersham Old Town, perhaps have a beer in a pub or a coffee, and then get the train back. So we're just um, going along here. Over there on the other side of the wall, there's quite a nice little garden. I have been in there before and I did once make a video, so put a link in to that now and um, you can have a look at that. So, yeah, very pleasant. I'm going to carry on walking here. The river goes behind Tesco's and um, on towards Chalfont St Peter. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going. So the River Misborn has now flown along behind Tesco's and beside the car park, which is just over there. You can just see the Tesco's car park through here. This is Station Road. So this goes up to Amersham on the hill or Amersham Newtown. That's where the railway station was and here is the Misborn. so it flows off in that direction there's an interesting bit over there because it, it splits so we'll go and have a look at that and takes two separate courses and then they rejoin the other side once we get out of Amersham and um, we shall continue walking towards Chalfon St Giles and Chalfon St Peter so there's this little bit here where we can go beside the river. I appreciate you can't really see the river particularly well with all of these bushes growing up. And then somewhere here, I'm not sure, or maybe there's a culvert running under here somewhere, but when we get to the other side of the road, I'll show you how we have two sections of river. So um, we just need to get across the road first. Shouldn't be too busy today. Yeah, take my chances now and run. So we come across the road, there's this modern development here. If you have a look, we've got a small section of River Misborn which flows along there, and then it's culverted under this abandoned garage. But I can already see the next section. Maybe it's just a little spring that 
comes up there. I don't know if anyone does know. You know, like as usual, please do comment and tell me. I always like to hear, you know, if, if there's a little bit I'm not sure if you want to fill me in, you know, please do. So we're just walking across the forecourt of this garage. Um, oh yeah, and here we are. Look, we have the two rivers joining each other. So the one I just showed you comes out here and here is the main course. Look how low the actual arches, I don't know if you can see the brick arches are. It seems, I mean, this is really high. This is the highest I've seen them is born for quite a long time. So I'm gonna walk down to this willow here where the two courses, even though the other one's quite overgrown, the two courses converge. I've got to then cross the river because I'm gonna go up that footpath over there where that gate is and um, we should carry on we'll get outside Amersham bypass and that's where I'll finish the Amersham section of the River Mistborn video so as we come towards the end of our Amersham section of the River Mistborn we're here in this uh, man-made woodland because the bypass is just over there the path is here now we follow this path and what happens somewhere around here well we'll see exactly where in a moment when they built the bypass they diverted the course of the Mistborn and when it was drying up in Chalfont St Peter for sometimes a few years on end they say it seems to be since they built the bypass so you know it seems there is some correlation there that you'd quite often see it flowing in Amersham but then it would dry up beyond there. But then there have been times where it has dried up before they built the bypass. And the fact that chalk streams naturally do dry up, I'm not sure really whether the bypass has affected the river or not, but they say it has. But about here, I appreciate you can't see the river very well, but the river takes a sudden kink like that, which is no longer its natural course to go underneath the bypass. Now, a bit like on the other side, of Amersham they've used it as an opportunity to put a public footpath through but the bypass at the other side I don't think they actually altered the flow of the river here otherwise there'd be a very long skewed bridge so it seems what they've done they've decided it'd be more convenient for them if the river flew through you know at angles like that so right now it's really great to see it's flowing really nicely so hopefully we won't ever have these kind of things. I'm not saying it won't ever dry up again. I expect it will, but hopefully it won't ever dry up for years on end like it has in the past. I'm now going to carry on all the way down here towards Chalmers and Peter and Chalmers and Giles, and um, we'll do Chalmers and Peter, Chalmers and Giles, and beyond in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, etc. And why not come for a walk? in the Mistborn Valley. Goodbye.